Okay, so let's look at the three basic forms of choke, okay, uh, from the back, okay. Uh, these are not collar chokes, these are chokes with your arms. I don't really know what you call them, but these are the three basic ones that you do sequentially. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is anytime I'm behind someone, okay, obviously preferential to have hooks, okay, where you can totally choke someone regardless. Okay, and the three chokes, okay, will be here, okay, with a one arm choke, okay, here with a pan to pan, okay, choke, and then here with the full rear naked choke. Okay, so obviously things are always easier if I have hooks to control the lower body, so we'll just show from here. Okay, but in order, anytime we get underneath someone's neck with an arm, okay, as opposed to collar chokes, which we'll cover in a separate video, okay, anytime I find my wrist underneath my partner's neck, okay, whether he's just looking up, okay, or I've dove my wrist in underneath here, okay, the first thing we do is try to just choke him with one arm. Okay, I dig my fingers into the back of his collarbone here, like all at once, making a hook, and then I cover my hand, okay, with my chin. Okay, this makes a complete circle around his neck here, and if he tries to grab his hand, okay, using his hands, it should be really tricky because my big chin and head is covering my hand. Okay, very different, different like this, he grabs my hand, and he pulls my hand away. So anytime you're underneath someone's neck, try to reach as deep as possible, okay, for his scapula or his collarbone or whatever this thing is back here that's a nice handle, okay, and then put your chin over the top of your hand. The deeper you are, the better, okay, so the more that my elbow is underneath his chin, the better, okay, grab his shoulder, all four fingers digging in, bring your chin on top of your hand, and now we start to squeeze, okay. Oftentimes, this comes from a seatbelt, and I have one hand, okay, to control his hand. So this is the first simple choke once you have someone's neck. Grab his shoulder, put your chin on top here, and then squeeze. Okay, now, if this doesn't have enough power to finish, we're gonna go to the palm to palm. Okay, so I'm squeezing here, I feel like I can't. I lift my palm up, and then my other palm is gonna come in and go palm to palm here. Okay, so I was trying with the one arm. Okay, I literally just lift this palm up, the one that's on the shoulder, and then I slot my other palm in Okay, and without any fingers lacing, I join my hands. Okay, so here, I lift up, and then I bring my hand in. Make sure, guys, okay, that you shelve, okay, your forearm on his shoulder here. Okay, so I'm not just holding like this. I'm also bringing my elbow in tight behind his back here. Okay, so we had the chin on the shoulder here. Okay, I'm trying to choke him. It's not enough. I take my hand out, and I go palm to palm here. My elbow is tucking in and shelving on his back. Okay, now we start to squeeze. There'll be two ways, guys, that you'll squeeze. One is just squeezing your shoulder to your wrist here with your two hands, okay, and just holding. Bam. The other will, to be, will be to come just with the blade of the wrist here and just come straight back into the throat. Okay, so the grip is the same. Okay, you're either just pulling your wrist straight back to the neck or you can pull through really deep, okay, and then just try to keep your squeeze here. Okay, so I'm almost vicing his head or his neck between my wrist and my uh, shoulder here. So I'm on the one arm choke. So I'm on his back. Okay, I get my hand in. I'm trying to choke here. I can't. I slot and I go palm to palm. Okay, we can either pull shallow into the, right into the throat or pull deep here and then start to squeeze. Always trying to hide our hands with our chin. Okay, if he's trying to hand fight and reach his hands in here, okay, should be really tight. Slowly squeezing for the top. Okay, now, the last and strongest choke, okay, will be the fully locked RNC, okay, rear naked choke. Okay, this is where both of my hands are hidden completely, okay, from any sort of defense. Okay, so when we're here, there's potential for defense. When we're here, there's potential for defense. I pull my arm through and I lock my hand behind his head, okay, and now there's no more potential for defense. Okay, so to lock it up, okay, that same choking arm, as deep as we can go, okay, with my elbow as a marker being underneath his chin. Okay, so we don't want to be shallow, we want to get through as deep as we can. Okay, we start with a palm to palm grip here, okay, just like before, and now I'm going to start reaching my hand to my bicep, okay, like so, and then tucking my other hand behind his head. Now, important that you don't actually do this, okay, so grab your hand. Okay, so you keep your hand tight and you fold your hand over the top of your other hand. Okay, so it's like I'm reaching for my bicep, 
Okay, same thing. I'm sliding this uh, choking arm okay, to the bicep. Okay, but I'm just creeping my hand around over the top of my own uh, back of my palm here. Okay, so don't reach through. Slide your hand over. I bring my wrist behind his neck. Head goes close and then slowly start squeezing by bringing my two elbows together. Okay, so we're here. I'm trying the one arm. I'm trying the palm to palm all the way over the top and then bring your head on top of your hands and squeeze. Okay, so we're going from the palm to palm choke all the way up over the top of our hand here, tucking and then hiding our hands completely. Okay, not here where he can grab my hand. Okay, the blade of my wrist fits into, I don't know what this is called, you can probably see on my head better than, <laughs> than Neil's head. Um, there's a little bone here that sticks out in your, your head. Okay, my wrist is looking to slot in underneath that bone. Okay, so I'm grabbing and I'm trying to dig my wrist in underneath. Okay, so I don't want my hand on the top where it could slide or you can grab my hand. Okay, we go from palm to palm and then try to get the wrist in underneath that little space in the top of his neck here. Okay, so those are your three basic chokes, guys, from the back. The one arm choke, the palm to palm, okay, and then full RNC. Okay, anytime you have someone's neck, that's the sequential order you want to try to attack them in. The first being totally strong and totally finishable, okay, but you have different levels of strength depending on how resilient your partner is. Okay, you get the initial one arm choke, palm to palm, and then fully locking to the RNC. Okay, obviously if you feel space and you can quickly skip and go right to the clean RNC, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, but a lot of the time we have to uh, step by step make our way to the choke. And going through these three basic chokes is how you guys want to think about uh, finishing when you're on the back and you have wrists underneath the neck. Okay, so not attacking with collar grips, okay, getting our hands and wrists underneath the neck and going through that three sequence of chokes.